Well, I had told the technician while she was doing the ultrasound. I was, you know, telling her my life history about my mom having one at age 57 and dying and the father having one two years later. And she looked at me, she said, well, Mr. Goodwin, guess what? You have one also. And it's already at five centimeters and we need to move on it right away. I had gone to Life on Screen and, um, several years back because of my family history. So when Life on Screen sent me a memo that it was time for me to do my next one, I made an appointment for myself and for Quentin. So when I talked to the lady on the phone, I told her I wanted all four screenings for my husband, especially the abdominal aorta aneurysm screening. When I found out that my wife had signed me up for Lifeline screening, I was sitting at the internet and I got an email from her showing that she had signed me up for it. I called her, I said, what is this? And she said, well, I signed you up for Lifeline screening and I, I would like for you to go. I said, for what? I said, my doctor's on top of this. I mean, uh, I mean, this is 150 bucks that, you know, we could save, I, you know, why, why uh, pay that money? So anyhow, uh, she told me that, uh, well, I've already paid for it and you're going. And I said, yes, ma'am. We were running behind Tom, which I thought was unusual, and so I was kind of getting a little nervous and a little apprehensive. But anyway, we, we had had some of our screenings done. So the last screening that Quentin had to have done that day was the aorta aneurysm. The young technician was back there, and I heard her talking to my husband. So I went on back behind the screen, and Quentin was looking at a form and whatnot, and I just kind of looked over his shoulder, and I said, oh, my God. And I looked at the technician, and I said, how bad is it? And she said, well, it's just a mild emergency. I said, how bad is it? And she told me then it was at five centimeters. When I was sitting there on that table uh, and I w was told that I had the aneurysm, it, it pretty much knocked me over. I, I, I had not a clue, you know, because I haven't had any symptoms. Of course, I was a little upset. I started shaking all over because even though I knew that was a possibility because of his family history, I still wasn't prepared to hear that. That was on a Wednesday afternoon, so we saw the surgeon on Friday morning. He seemed to be a little bit concerned about it because it was, you know, borderline, was what he told me. He said, but with my age, you know, it's already at five centimeters. He said, we need to go ahead and act on it right away. When I had surgery, surgery went great. Uh, my wife and my children couldn't believe how good I looked when I came, came out of surgery. It's, it's real assuring to know that it's been repaired and that I'm doing okay and that I'm going to live through this. I still want to live a long and healthy life with my wife and my grandchildren. This has given us that life. You know, Lifeline Screen has saved his life. And now he knows his wife is right all the time and he's going to listen to her because I made him go. I thank the Lord every day for making me make that appointment. $150 saved my husband's life.